Hello. Hi, everybody. Hello. Good morning. Hi, Mrs. Jerry. Mrs. Pfeiffer. Hi, Mrs. Meyer. Hello. Hello, Mr. Choi. Hi, Mrs. David J. Good morning. Hello, Ms. Oshiro. Yay, everybody. Good morning. I'll give folks a couple more minutes to get going. Everybody doing okay? <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Hello. I'm not sure which Kathy that is. Hmm. Hello, whoever came on. It says Kathy, but I, I doesn't say your last name. Oh, and she just went away. <laughs> right. Very good. Hi, Miss Clerkenberg. How are you? Great. Meyer. Great. There's Kathy again. Yay. Hi. Great. Hi, Mrs. Martin. Yay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ms. Martin. Yay. Hi, Ms. Nolan. All right. Hey, Mrs. Slay. Yay. All right. Good to see you. Oh, someone. I think someone's TV is in the background. There we go. Hi, everybody. Well, we can. Liam, why can't I hear through this? Get started. Oh, Mrs. Oh, Nolan, is Liam at home? I need to plug it in. Oh, man. Because this way we don't have. There we go. Can you? Oh, you can't use it either. You can mute yourself to Miss Nolan. I guess. And the North Tower. I know. Is that a white tower or a black tower? Black. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh.
have some place to take my kids every day, not only for school, but for sports and for music lessons. And I just love um, the character development that I'm seeing in my kids. It's just amazing how holistic um, Trinity is educating my kids. So thank you for that. Hi, Mrs. Cherry. Thank you. Thank you. Um, good to see you. And then I have Mrs. Pfeiffer here. And I know um, Mr. Wolf, uh, glad you join us. Hi, Kentanians. Uh, Mrs. Meyer, good. Mrs. Meyer, good. Mrs. Pfeiffer. Good morning, everyone. So I've been at Trinity, or we have been at Trinity as a family for eight years. I have two boys, um, Drew, who graduated two years ago. He's now a sophomore at UCLA. And Luke, who is a senior this year. And we love Trinity so much that I decided to start working at Trinity. So now I follow Mrs. Cador all, all over the place. <laughs> Pray for Mrs. Viper. <laughs> yes, I'm at home right now. But I'm good. I'm good. Good. Good, Ms. Piper. Yay. Um, I'm Ms. Davidge. Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Samantha Davidge, and uh, my family and I, we've been part of Trinity since 2009. I have um, Jordan, who is now a college graduate, and um, Nathan, who is a junior. Yikes. And, um, Trinity has consistently exceeded our expectations. Amen. Thank you. Hi, Ms. David. Thank you. Yes, we are uh, carrying on. That is for sure. Uh, thank you. Mr. Choi. Go ahead, Mr. Choi. Can I introduce yes, yourself? Yes, good morning. Uh, my name is Henry Choi. We're, we're actually about third year into Trinity, and I have two children. Uh, I have Allison, who's in eighth grade, and I have Aiden in sixth grade. And uh, we're just moving, uh, appreciately uh, moving forward right in the middle of this pandemic. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, everything's going so far so good. Very good, very good, Mr. Choi. Um, Mrs. Martin. Oh, unmute. You have to unmute yourself. Mute. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm Yuri Martin. I am from Cuba. I have two kids. I have one, Erica, start TK now, and uh, Kutis is in second grade. And uh, what can I say? This school is amazing, and Liz Cal, I love her a lot. And I think nothing is possible with if she don't do what she do, and every day she puts you a little more. Like, it's also, I, I admire her a lot. <laughs> That is kind, Mrs. Martin. That is gracious of you to say. And Mrs. Martin has become our resident uh, guest speaker for uh, my honors government class every semester because her story of escaping from Cuba on a raft is uh, harrowing and her experience of growing up in Cuba uh, but related to under communism and what that does to people is very helpful for my honors government class as we read and process word for word the constitution um, and the purpose I of think I'm living in Cuba now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's really crazy. Living in California. <laughs> oh my goodness. So very good. So yay, thank you. Mrs. Slay. Good morning. Uh, I'm Chrissy Slate. I have two children at Trinity. We've been there uh, 11 years. My daughter, Sabrina, is in uh, 10th grade with Lily. And my son, Jake, I get to say that now, is in 8th grade. Yay. So Yay. we're all back in one place. Yep. I'm so, so very glad. Nice. Very good. Um, yes. Good. And he had a good, good week. Great. Great. Um, yay. Um, and Mrs. Um, yay, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, uh, good. Uh, Mrs. Meyer. I'm Vanessa Meyer. We have one daughter, Abigail, who's in eighth grade. This is our sixth year at Trinity and just grateful for the community, for the leadership. Uh, we are in prayer daily over thank you. your staff and you as well, Mrs. Cato. We appreciate thank you. you and she is grateful to be on campus. It was very lonely doing school online as an only child, so. Yeah, thank, thank you, I am glad. I'm glad to see her face. Yes, very good, good. Um, Ken Jennians. Hi everybody, it's Sam and Lena Katenjian. Uh, our son Andrew is now in 11th grade. 
He started in seventh grade. So he's doing great. We love Trinity. That is kind. I'm excited. And um, orchestra is going. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got a concert. Um, so very good. Um, Mrs. Oshiro. Good morning. Um, so I was at the very first information meeting that Liz and Wally ever had for Trinity. So I've been around since the dawn of time. True. And um, my children both graduated from Trinity. They both went through the whole deal and they're both in college and all is well. And I'm the website administrator here. So I'm still here even though my kids aren't. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Oshiro. Yes. And always lots to communicate. That is for sure. Thank you. And I also want to communicate to Mrs. Um, Slay has been helping recently with uh, gathering information and as we are um, an extra phase of communication uh, related to our efforts to uh, do school and, and remain open and all of that. So um, she's been helping with uh, those things as well. Thank you. I think I lost, oh, I'm not sure which Julie this is. And I, like I said, for our friends who have joined us, it's helpful to see your face, especially when you introduce yourself. Uh, we don't care, um, you know, like what you're wearing or what you look like. Um, and by Friday, uh, what you, you know, what you see is what you get, uh, pretty much. <laughs> so I'm not sure which Julie this is. If you can unmute. Oh, Julie, if you can unmute yourself. Um, let me help. Yeah, Julie, can you unmute yourself? There we go. Hi. Um, can't go. Hi. Oh, there we go. Hello. Very good. Okay. I think that's Mr. Is that Mr. Wang? Hi. Yes. Hi. Yeah. Mr. Wang, if you want to introduce yourself. Yeah. So my, my daughter, Eliane is a senior. I just, um, actually work in the office today. So just want to check in, see how it's going. Great. She's doing great. I've been enjoying, uh, her in class as well. Yeah. Um, so you really enjoy it. She talks about it. Good, good. Yeah. Got to get them talking. Very yeah. good. Yay. Thank you. Yes, we've been working on our, I call it the 27 Amendment Carol, but it's just a chant. But it's, they learn and memorize all 27 amendments, but we put it to motion. So they have them locked in. And I have shirts for them because that last day of school, we go around and uh, share it with everyone. Um, uh, from one to 27 and, uh, yeah, they don't, they don't forget it and they need to know it. So we're working on that. And it's been fun. Yeah. She told me you just finished uh, the 27th yeah, yesterday. Yeah. We got to 27. So, uh, yeah. yes, it's good. And we get the history with it and when and why. Um, so good stuff. Thank you. Um, yeah. so, so very good. Julie, go ahead. Yes. Um, uh, so, okay, I'll come back. Um, Colleen, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, sorry, I've got one distance learning so you can hear it in the background. Um, I have a ninth grader and he's been at Trinity, I think, for seven years now. And um, he's also in orchestra and really enjoying being back. Oh, oh, very good. I am so, I am so glad. Um, and um, good, it is good to see you. Sorry, let, let me mute that so you can't hear school. <laughs> That's okay. Um, and then uh, let's see, let's see. Um, Mrs. Nolan, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I have three people in this 
school, doing school right now, and so I get the last of everything. So I have headphones on. I'm in the corner. I'm in the dark that, because totally everyone's going on, and, and you are going to be scared if I unmute. That, there it is. Yay, I'm scared. No so no anyways, hi, everyone. Good morning. And um, as like I said, I'm stuck with the gaming headsets and stuff. So um, we've been at Trinity for seven years and have three children. And Liam is in fourth grade. McKenna's in eighth grade. And Lauren is in 11th grade. I can't believe it. So um, we love Trinity. It's a great school. And I can't say enough about Good things about it. Thank you, Miss Cato. You work timeless and effortlessly at everything, and we're so grateful. Well, that is Anyways. kind. I'm grateful for our community, and we just are going to keep pressing on. That is for sure. I Thank hope you. everyone has a wonderful holiday and stay safe, and we resume our old normal very soon. <laughs> yes, very good. Thank you. And uh, Kathy, if you want to introduce yourself, unmute and introduce yourself. Is this Kathy Wolf? Is that what you mean? Yeah, hi, Mrs. Wolf. <clears throat> I didn't know if there's another Kathy. I'm I'm on a walk and I'm walking up hills. <laughs> oh, that's and I can't, okay. Yeah, but I, for some reason I can't get video, so I'm I've been okay. sitting here trying or walking that's and trying. Okay. That's okay. <clears throat> but um, we've been here. Uh, we've been at Trinity for. Fifth, I was, I'm sitting here thinking about it. It's 15th. I think this is our 15th year. I don't think it's our 16th, but our 15th, I think. And Chapman is a senior this year. And I can't believe it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and my other two, um, Grant and Zach, have graduated. One has already graduated college, and and the other is uh, a junior in college. So uh, we've been there a long time, and it's, again, because of, of Liz and her staff and her tireless and fearless leading through thick and thin. So we are grateful. That is kind, Mrs. Wolf. And I am excited for um, Mrs. Wolf's Chapman, who's a senior, has his panel interview this weekend for yes, tomorrow. Um, <laughs> the academies. He's applying to Air Force and Navy. Go Navy! Sorry, Mrs. Wolf. Go Navy! All right. and then, Thank you for <laughs> And it's a big panel interview for the nomination committee because um, everyone who receives an appointment to one of the three main academies must have a nomination from a congressperson or a senator. And so yes. Chapman is in that process, as is Edgar Romero and um, and uh, Jane Cipher for our in our senior class. It's yes. pretty, pretty exciting. It is very it is. good. Thank you. Um, yes. and then I have, uh, that you're not I'm not you go. sure. Go ahead. Um, if you want to introduce yourself, maybe we can see you for a moment. But she wanted to give Daphne her toy. You have to unmute. Sorry. Crystal. Did you say? Oh, Crystal. Okay. Sorry. I am Crystal Ward. Uh, my daughter is Maya Amber Ward. She is a freshman. We came in junior high, seventh grade. She's doing cheer and having a good time. All right, Mrs. Ward, good to uh, hear from you. Yay! Saw her, Chris. Uh, saw Maya yesterday. Yes. Um, good. And then Mrs. Waugh, uh, if you want to introduce yourself. I'm Jennifer Waugh. Um, I have Caitlin who's in ninth grade. It's her first year at Trinity um, and we've been super happy to be here. I have two older daughters who are in college, both home right now for, for break. So it's, it's fun right now having oh, everybody all under the same roof again. Yeah, that's so nice. I always sleep better when all my children are in my home. Definitely. Um, I just get good <laughs> sleep. But I don't know what that is, um, but I love that. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, looking forward, yeah, to getting to, to home soon. Um, <laughs> yay. Um, very good. Well, uh, welcome. Um, thank you for joining us. And, you know, we, everyone um, uh, re received the communication last night to, to parents and our, um, we are just going to continue to move forward um, in the best of our ability in in good faith and the spirit of the law to try to serve our students here. Um, uh, you know, and we have a, we have a mix going on with um, uh, levels of, of concern for family. So we got, you know, handful of, of, 
uh, families uh, doing Zoom for various reasons and um, uh, in grammar, a smaller handful, and then in, in, in um, uh, upper school, uh, a little bit bigger handful, but uh, grammar schools still have uh, about 90% of our students here for on campus and uh, daily and for upper school with uh, some of the travel and some folks that are going to be doing some travel and um, a little bit of the heightened energy right now. I have about 80%, um, 85% of upper school students um, on, on, on campus, which is, which is terrific. And, you know, we're managing the Zoom thing and everything as well. Um, hopefully, hopefully we're doing that uh, well. Um, hey, Miss Marshall, how are you? Um, Mrs. Marshall, if you'd like to introduce yourself, you have, can you unmute yourself and say who you are and where, where your little person is in school? Um, Mrs. Marshall is part of our Parent Teacher Fellowship team. And she is, Hi. hey, Ms. Marshall. <laughs> Hi, sorry. No worries. Part of our parent-teacher fellowship team and Grant Bennett is in TK. Yes, Bennett's yes. in TK. Yes, Ben is in TK, yay. Thank you yeah. for serving he us. He loves that. Yeah, too, I'm so glad. Yes. Someone else is joining, we'll let them introduce themselves. <laughs> um, hi, uh, Yanju, maybe you could say, show us your face and, Introduce yourself. You probably have to uh, uh, unmute. Um, yes, uh, Yenji, can you introduce yourself and unmute? So I'll try it one more time. Um, as she's getting herself set up, any any uh, any questions? Okay, so um, wanted to see if anyone had uh, again. This is kind of our last coffee with Cato before we um, uh, go to break. Want to see if anyone had any uh, questions? We've got you know a uh, full made it through this week we've got a full couple weeks ahead for students and their learning and some special things that we will be doing as part of our school life that we will still be doing um related to uh our kindergarten concert uh which is will be outside with our kindergarten friends and their their um, um immediate uh families that's next friday and then uh, the following week, we have a mitigated um, uh, Christmas concert, not nearly as, as uh, big or grand that we normally do, but it is the year to, to not do that. But we'll be outside, so people will bundle up, but we'll also have the FM transmitter available for our families, like grandparents in the parking lot and or live stream at home. Um, and then our symphony orchestra and those electives, that concert is on the, um, on the 17th for our, our upper school friends. And that will be a similar, um, um, you know, under the stars experience, <laughs> under the lights actually, because we have our lights in the courtyard. So that'll be nice. And uh, again, we'll have the FM transmitter for people in their cars. Um, so looking, looking forward to that. And then I will be sending a communication next week with a couple of um, just uh, uh, shifts for when we return. I've been, you know, just with probably a lot of folks traveling and stuff, uh, looking at doing sort of a softer, softer entry um, into, into when we come back for um, for with students in January with um, and I'll be communicating that uh, next week with you know starting with big kids first and then you know and then grammar school kind of like we did when we started school just because we have a lot of folks 
you know, um, possibly traveling and things like that. So, you know, we're just going to continue to move forward as thoughtfully as we can, um, uh, serving, serving our, um, serving our kids. Because when we come back, we will have um, upper school will have finals, and you know, we're looking at moving into the, you know, second half of the school year, uh, vision night, um, which we will be uh, doing the end of January. So looking forward to that and sharing information from the parent surveys that we did, um, uh, having some student speakers um, from the oratory contest, which has been put out to students. Um, and so just, just good things as we, um, as we move forward. Any um, questions or anything I can help you know or have an understanding on, or if I can't turn you to who can? Mrs. Cato. Yes, ma'am. Um, my Maria wants to know when the hoedown will be happening. If you if you happen to know when yes. that might be rescheduled. Yes. Well, we will. Um, one thing that I can tell you is that um, that's in in the works in the conversation. Uh, probably, definitely after the holidays. Um, but uh, we are 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 thinking through that, especially probably need to get through finals for them. And so we're looking at what could be maybe a celebratory type of thing. Um, and you know, it's outside, it's line dancing only. <laughs> so we're working on it for a date, but we will reschedule it. Yeah, yeah, very good. Um, any other, any other uh, questions that you come to mind or? Um, yeah. I had a question, Mrs. Cato. Are you on? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead, Marshall. I've been um, here for a bit. I had a question about the Christmas concert. Is it just for kindergarten or is it TK also? The the Christmas concert is just kindergarten. That, okay. We have a separate kindergarten one, and then there's a separate one for uh, first through sixth. Okay, so TK is not involved in any of the Christmas concerts. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, right. Okay. Yes, right. Okay. okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, other uh, questions or, yeah, Ms. Ken Jenian. Ken Jenian. And Ms. Ken Jenian, as long as we've known each other, I think I say, said your name differently every single time. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, we don't mind. <laughs> Contention, yes. <laughs> Contention, yes. Yes, ma'am. Oh, so, um, oh, you know, Andrew was signed up to do a missions trip, I think. In November. Back in spring. Oh, yes. And then it got switched to November, and we're just kind of wondering. And that's the Mexico mission trip, right? Yeah, I think Mrs. Hoffman would probably answer it, but. Yes, well, I mean, as soon as we're able to do that, we will. And Lily was signed up for it as well. Um, so looking forward to, you know, going. Um, so uh, for those of you that don't know, we have a Mrs. Hossman. Um, years ago, we, we have a relationship with the Hugo Ministry just over the border into Mexico where um, students go with volunteers and they build uh, houses. They, they'll go and on a long weekend they'll build depending on how many people um, there are, they might build one or two houses for those in this po impoverished community. And they take uh, food and goods. And we've done that for years. And um, I know it, it makes me sad because all the more that community probably um, is in need. Mm. Um, uh, so as soon as we can do it, we'll do it. Hopefully we'll be able to do it uh, this next spring break. We usually attach it to like a long weekend or a break. So I know. So, but uh, we'll look forward to eventually be doing that. And we're in the midst of, um, uh, in the summer, we realized, you know, we didn't want to try to also navigate going to Europe. Um, because we weren't sure, everything was so unsure for our seniors. So our senior trip for the spring is an Americana trip, um, you know, historical sites on the East Coast 
um, and you know, we're still moving forward with that. It's the end of March. Um, we always go right with the seniors the week before spring break so they can go and then have a week to recover because we always walk like a hundred miles literally <laughs> and they you know no one no one sleeps uh, so they come back quite exhausted so they have that week off so hoping to we're you know we're hoping to do that we're using a company this year to help us with that so everything for that is still on because hopefully the world has uh, lighted itself a little bit more um so in hope we have that planned and then hopefully you know we're going to serve yes other questions or comments or wonderings this yes ma'am um it's kathy and hey, i had a question i'm um i'm still walking so i might be out of breath but um <laughs> no pain on us i'll help you yeah <laughs> But um, I was wondering, uh, with the, you know, these coming lockdown orders and nu nuisances of, of lockdown, is there any under circumstances that we would, that would force us to, to close the doors again? Um, that's a great question, Mrs. Wolf. Right. I, did you see the communication I sent yesterday? I, I I'm sorry. I don't know that I've read it. No worries. Um, no worries. I, uh, I know if people are overwhelmed by information. Um, so what we communicated yesterday is that we are going to uh, carry on. I mean, the wild thing is our county in particular, we've never not been out of, on some level, the safer at home order. Um, there's definitely more enhanced restrictions but we are uh, carrying on um, and will continue to carry on um, and uh, do so out of conviction. So um, I can't see, um, you know, why we would cease and desist in what we're doing. Um, I, I am the, um, what is gr happening for children across the country is grievous. Yes. We are called to serve our children, um, specifically in our community, um, which is a privilege, and we'll do so, can, when we will do so, can t we will keep doing so. And, and for those that feel most, we will keep doing the Zoom thing uh, as well. But we, I, we, we need to um, keep serving our children. The statistics and what's coming out regarding what's happening across the country in these in the over at large is is not good. Uh, I think the 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 fail rate uh, as of three weeks ago for Heart District was closing in on thirty percent. Um, you know, it's unrecoverable. So and you'll have to forgive me. I'm just, I, I'm driving my husband crazy because I, this is all like, it doesn't take me long to get to the place of passion for, you know, for, for children. So, so we're carrying on. Thank you for your question. Very good. Very good. Um, yeah, Mrs. Wah. In your letter yesterday, you mentioned the, um, voluntary testing yes so just curious about how that works um is it something where i mean if anyone who's just curious are you recommending certain people get tested yeah, if they feel it's necessary um we are trying to respond to you know we have we have a range of 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 perspectives in regards to how everyone is viewing what's occurring in uh, the state, in the country, uh, uh, related to the pandemic and levels of concerns. And um, as we continue to try to um, balance out uh, our, our, our boldness to uh, be live, and, uh, 
and serving our children on campus. Uh, want to, we want to try to provide that uh, as, a, as for those that might want to do that if they feel concerned. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll do it on Monday and then, and then we'll, we'll, we'll see from there. And maybe, maybe when then um, uh, uh, there's a return from break after people have traveled, the people might feel a lot of concern. They might want to do that, and then it and if it's a handful of folks, it it catches those folks that might have had that concern, um, and it gives us a, a heads up sooner. Um, as we try to, you know, navigate all the var various protocols for what you need to do if there's an exposure and exposure management and et cetera, et cetera, uh, to be as responsible as we can while we push forward in being open. Um, and so, so uh, we're sending a follow-up email today that will uh, let folks know uh, uh, what and how um, if, they so, if they so choose. I, we, I don't think we have um, um, like a, a group that's just uh, curious, um, you know, I don't think, I could be wrong. Too many folks are just going because they're, they just want to check it out, you know, like um, that type of thing. Um, so um, just trying to, um, you know, respond and be as thoughtful as we can um, and continuing to look at ways. Um, one of the things that we're trying to do too is uh, get our CLIA license. Uh, which allows for the possible rapid test to be on campus. If you have a con you know, concern, we have to have a, a doctor who, ha who, as a lab director, we're having conversation with um, one of our alumni families related to that, because that would just take care of the possible, oh, someone might think, think so, you could do it real quick with permission if you wanted, and it could save us from sending a group home. Because right now, with the all the exposure management and all the layer of things that you're supposed to do, if this, if that, if that, that could help with that. So we're just continuing to try to uh, do everything we can to make sure that we are uh, um, just able to keep uh, being here, being open, and 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 doing all that. Um, because uh, I, uh, I think you're there. What is, breaks my heart uh, is I, I mean, I don't, I don't even know what some of the larger, like what the public schools are, the way the narrative is going with that. When some of some of those things are going to be open, and we we're definitely opening out of um, you know, out of conviction and and boldness to. Um, do what we need to do for our families. So sorry, Mrs. Wah, that had a lot of words. Um, I hope that was okay. Answered your question, sort of. No, I think it's a, it's a great idea. I think it's ha having that option. And I mean, um, Mary, who's at UC San Diego, they had moved 6,000 freshmen onto campus this past quarter. Wow. And they've been testing all the freshmen. I think they started off every 10 days and then if you went back after Thanksgiving, they were testing weekly. Oh, okay. Um, but they've had virtually no outbreaks. You know, they've had little pockets of one, yeah. or, one or two students here or there, but almost no community spread. I don't think they've had any community spread. And I think it's because, you know, they've been, you know, obviously they are really pushing the mass social distancing and everything on campus. But I think that routine testing has also helped because they're able to single out those positives very quickly sure. before it has a chance to spread. To yeah, yeah, and try not to, yeah, the whole so many that are linked type of thing, right? So yeah, so yeah, just trying to be, again, as thoughtful as we can um, in, in, in balancing out, balancing things out. Um, thank you. Um, other other is there another question or comment? I can, I can, um, I can help. Miss Kettle, 
Yes, ma'am. Hi, this is Colleen. Um, so uh, just verifying, is that a PCR test then is what I'm hearing rather than rapid? Yes. The and then, yes. Okay. That one is the one we're using through, that we will use on occasion through the Brio uh, group. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then my second question was, you know, I'm sure we're all looking at the news or following the LA County um, site and know that um, Santa Clarita Christian College was cited before the break, and I don't know why, um, but I'm just wondering, do we, uh, you know, if, if Trinity happened to be cited, you know, what, what does that mean? Is that a fine or is that, is that a possible closure or what does it mean? Right, right. Um, right. And what people need to know, first of all, like when you say like a closure, if for instance, say we had so many uh, cases that were linked, then you would follow a protocol like linked epidemiologically. Um, then you, then the, the protocol is you uh, shut down for two weeks and, you know, do a, a clean and, um, and then you, then you, then you, you know, open up again. Now, regarding what, uh, with SECS, um, SECS and uh, Legacy and us, uh, Trinity, all of us as Christian schools are moving out on um, serving our families out of, uh, out of conviction and uh, what we feel, well, for us um, in seeking legal counsel is a uh, reasoned argument uh, based on the settlement that uh, had occurred uh, with the state of California and uh, um, some Jewish schools and private religious instruction. And uh, but um, uh, SECS is fine. Uh, they could be have been visited. Um, they could, uh, I don't know specifically what their citation was for. I do know that my understanding is if you are cited, um, it's $500. Um, and um, so, uh, yeah, we will continue to move out in faith related to if something like that were to occur. Okay. And they haven't made it clear, like, how many sites you can get before to take a next step. Well, yes, and here's, uh, here's what's all very uh, interesting, um, which is um, why, you know, we, I'm privileged to work with uh, the Christian Law Association and have conversations uh, weekly, uh, sometimes daily with them. Um, uh, there are so many scenarios um, and, um, we are seeing at large across the country, whether it's a small business or various schools and variety of situations or organizations, everyone's sort of testing the law right now and or uh, what is the law and what is uh, um, an order of versus man. I mean, there's so many, so many conversations going on. Um, we've, we continue to uh, make sure that we're um, making aware our our team, what we're doing, our legal team, all of that. So some of what's occurring for people is unchartered uh, territory for sure. Liz, mm -hmm. you know, I just wanted to encourage people that um, the, you know it's it's hard, I think, in California sometimes to have perspective. Mm -hmm. Like my sons are in Texas and. Their college, um, Zach's college, started at the beginning of the year, and they they trade off, you know, days like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They do Zoom, and then the next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they do in class and Tuesday. You know, they trade off, and they have a very robust program. And they, there's the campus probably has about twelve thousand, um, and they um, they have anywhere from thirty to you know, I've seen like eighty or ninety cases. They they give us a report daily. And those kids that live on campus are um, isolated. They have like um, little campers, and, you know, they have a whole area where they have little campers where anybody that has to be in quarantine for two weeks, they have their own little camper on campus and things. And wow. it's, it's very, I mean, there are, um, because they're trying to, you know, they are trying to continue the process of, of keeping people in school and getting through it. But 
but um, yeah, they, so I can't provide they, a they, camper they on it. campus. No, then I'll be no. in violation of yeah. my uh, CCNRs. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> like an association, yeah. right? But I guess what I'm trying to say is, is there people? You know, it, it it can be done. Yep. And and they they are doing it successfully and. Nobody's in a panic mode. They have a, like us, we have, you know, at the school, you have a lot of uh, mitigation factors. And I think that we, being bold as, as you're leading is, is very helpful because it's, it's so confusing. And, and when you get out of our bubble in California, there's a, there seems to be a healthy perspective that they are, they are doing life and they're being successful at it. And uh, yes, sometimes we are in California, I think we forget. In a unique area, in particular, uh, yes. in California, compared to to other states, even other necessarily other parts of California. So, um, so yeah. So um, yes, I am also in uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, McClurkenberg uh, in a, a a bit of a daily uh, text with uh, every other day text with SCCS and and Legacy as well. So, and with the Students First Coalition, continuing to um, uh, communicate uh, weekly with that team and in process of putting forth uh, communication, uh, we are working on a communication that uh, we're putting forth to, we've been able to get on a working call with the health department uh, for the, Students First Coalition that's representing thousands of students in LA County. Um, each of these school heads and or leaders in this organization uh, have different responsibilities and or uh, associations they're connected with that represent lots of schools, uh, putting forth um, data and information and why and plans. Um, for why kids should be in school. And, um, and all of these schools doing different things at this point, but continuing to press for children at large in uh, Los Angeles, um, because millions of children are out of school. Um, and uh, so we're putting forth a communication and uh, now there's a, a working group that is uh, having a regular call on Fridays to say, uh, you can do it this way, you can do it this way, you can do it this way, because, because of much of what LA County and uh, their, they have put forward for schools and uh, is, is not practical and untenable in the long term. Um, uh, and, and schools and the data is showing are not um, hotbeds for, for what's going on. So, um, so, so there's multiple things, um, multiple things in the works, uh, just, uh, at, you know, so I, you know, just sharing that information um, and as a point of, a point of reference, I guess. Um, um, any other uh, questions or, or comments? And I have a, just something I, I, I found particularly helpful today I thought I could share and, and close us with. Um, yeah, just a real quick question. Could you repeat what you said about the fail rate um, oh, at this heart school? Yeah, that, and that was a, um, through information uh, we received, um, and this was a, a, a few a few weeks back. Um, it was about at uh, twenty seven percent uh, was what was communicated, um, and that could be a percentage of of fails or um, at large. So there there's concern for them. I know Mrs. Board, you work in uh, social work, correct? Well. Uh mental health yeah but that's that's really tragic yes fail rate yeah. yes 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 so we uh will continue to carry on and be of help uh and hopefully you know continue to 
to be helpful and um, and press on uh, and keep up the good fight because uh, uh, California uh, needs uh, believers. California needs uh, people willing to uh, press on and fight the good fight uh, for children, for the next generation, um, all of it, right? So I uh, um, am energized by that. Um, so yeah, I know Mrs. Board, bless your work, because that's intense work, what you do. Um, and so I was, I was just gonna share this and then pray for us, unless anyone had anything. Um, I just want to do a, a thank you, Mrs. Caddell, for all the hard work you're putting in for everything you do. But I also really appreciate all the communication. You do such an excellent job. You know, it can be a stressful time when you hear all this fear mongering on the news. And so I really appreciate how timely your communications are to put me at ease that, you know, we're going to press on and we're going to move forward and we're going to well, do everything you can. And kind, Mrs. Cherry. And again, like I, a lot of that is due to our team. And on, like on this, Mrs. Mrs. Slay, Mrs. Oshiro, Mrs. Pfeiffer, and then our, our team at large that um, um, helps make um, so many things happen. I so thank you though. Yes. Yeah, um, I want to echo that. I really appreciate this communication. It's deeply appreciated. That is great. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Mr. Wang. And 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 um, yes. So yes. And. Um, and 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 faith over fear, and this is this is the fight for our generation. I mean, I do think we're fighting for some pretty, um, uh, pretty um, foundational things. Um, so so uh, this morning, a word from the Lord was Luke uh, two eight and nine, and there were shepherd shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. And the premise of this little devotional is God is active in the dark. When she was very young, one of my granddaughters became afraid of the dark. To fall asleep, she needed a night light in her room. I wonder if you, like my granddaughter, are also afraid of the dark. Not the dark of night, but the dark times in life when pressures, problems, pain, and even persecution envelope us in a fog of confusion or depression, those spiritually dark times when God seems far away. Please know that from the very beginning, God has been active in the dark. At the earliest dawn of creation, the Bible says, now the earth was formless and empty, darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the spirit of God was hovering. If you are presently living in the darkness of a humanly hopeless situation of death or disease or divorce or of fear, or failure or frustration, of doubt or danger, of confusion or depression, be assured that God is with you. He will change things and he has a word for you. God is active in the dark. Just ask the shepherds. So we press on uh, because we must and, um, uh, and uh, the enemy, the enemy will not, um, will not claim our children not on our watch and those other children that we can serve and try to help as well. Um, nope. So uh, we will uh, carry on. I thank you for joining this morning and grateful to see your faces, some of your faces or hear your voices. Um, and uh, thank you so much. Um, I think, I think we're good. I can just, I think, um, does someone want to pray for us? Anyone else? Um, I'll, okay, anyone? I can, and I'll have to share with you. One of the things that I'm finding humorous is, um, first of all, um, first of all, if you uh, were here yesterday, I had my G-Share, which I will put on the newsletter on Tuesday, because for G-Share, Mrs. Heffernan, who was part of our school community, has goats. So kindergarten TK were blessed by live goats yesterday. And it was G for TK, H for kindergarten. So they were hairy, but I was able to put a holiday headband on one of the goats. So uh, the kindergartners and TKs experienced some great joy. And then for our friends, my upper school friends, I have a different device each day 
to help with let's let's keep our distance. So I have my light up sword, which is sword of the constitution. I have my dart gun and or my lightsaber, which I got from Kylo Ren personally. So, and I have a scooter, and today I have a light up hula hoop. Um, so I know they find it annoying, but if it helps with keeping our distance a little bit then and brings a smile, then we can do that too. Um, so that being said, let me pray for us and I'll close this out. Um, thank you, Lord. Uh, we thank you, Jesus, um, and we praise you, and we are grateful that you are present in the dark. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for being our Savior, the Savior of our children. May we continue to represent who you are, Lord, so our children can see you and not be afraid, because we will continue to have faith over fear, Lord. We love you, we praise you, and we thank you. Amen. Amen, you guys. Have a good day. I'll see you maybe at uh, pickup. Maybe I'll bring my lightsaber. All right. Oh, yes. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.